Hello, everybody. Here at the White House, we're busy getting ready for an historic event, the first ever U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit. Next week, President Obama will welcome nearly 50 African heads of state to Washington, as well as leaders from across Africa's civil society, private sector, and faith communities. Africa's brimming with dynamic young people, and we're committed to working with them, too. That's why we brought 500 young African leaders to Washington this week, ahead of the summit, to work on their ideas and help them develop the skills and tools they'll need to lead Africa in the decades to come. This summit is about our shared future. All across Africa, we see incredible opportunities to strengthen our partnerships and to invest in one of the fastest growing regions of the world. Over three days, we're going to be talking about ways we can do more business together, ways to make sure that Africa's growth benefits everyone, and that more Africans can get greater access to prosperity, and ways we can work together to make our world more peaceful and more secure for everyone. For our part, here in the United States, we're going to keep building on the investments we're making to expand opportunity across Africa. Investments to double access to electricity across the continent, promote agricultural development and food security, and to improve public health. So we're very excited to be hosting the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit. We want everyone, especially all of you watching in Africa, to know that this is another crucial step in President Obama's personal commitment to expanding the ways the United States works closely with our African partners to invest in the next generation and in our common future. Thank you.